Life is a mystery. There are many questions to ask, but the answer will never satisfy our hearts. We continue to search. The psalmist says, Yahweh's word is perfect in every way. Yahweh's laws lead us to truth, and His ways change the simple into wise. That is why God's word is prized like others prize the finest gold. By listening daily to His words, may God's love and guidance be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality. For through it, some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as if sharing their imprisonment and of all the ill-treated as you yourselves for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge the immoral and adulterers. Let your life be free from love of money, and be content with what you have, for he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus we may say with confidence, The Lord is my helper, and I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Responsorial Psalm The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamped against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation, for he will hide me in his abode in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread, and people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty power is at work in him. Others were saying, He is Elijah. Still others, He is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, it is John whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. 
Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? The mother replied, the head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So, he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Do you ever feel haunted by the past failure or a guilty conscience? The Lord Jesus came to set us free from the oppression of sin and guilt. King Herod, the most powerful and wealthy man in, Galilee, in Judea, had everything he wanted except a clear conscience and peace with God. Herod had respected and feared John the Baptist as a great prophet and servant of God. John, however, did not fear to rebuke Herod for his adulterous relationship with his brother's wife, Herodias. John ended up in prison because of Herodias' hatred and jealousy. Herod, out of impulse and a desire to please his family and friends, had John beheaded. Now Herod's conscience is pricked when he hears that some think that John the Baptist had risen. When Herod heard the fame of Jesus, he supposed that John the Baptist, whom he beheaded, had returned from the dead. Unfortunately for Herod, he could not rid himself of sin by ridding himself of the man who confronted him with his sin. Herod was a weak man. He could take a strong stand on the wrong things when he knew the right. Such a stand, however, was a sign of weakness and cowardice. The Lord gives grace to the humble, to those who acknowledge their sins and who seek God's mercy and pardon. His grace and pardon not only frees us from a guilty conscience, it enables us to pursue holiness in thought and action as well. God's grace enables us to fight fear with faith and to overcome the temptation to compromise goodness and truth with the wrongdoing and falsehood. Do you rely on God's grace and help to choose His way of holiness and to reject whatever would compromise your faith and loyalty to Jesus Christ?
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, form in me the likeness of your Son, that I may imitate him in word and deed. Help me to live the gospel faithfully and give me the strength and courage I need. Do not shrink back in the face of adversity and temptation. Amen. Mm-hmm.